Hello, it's Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents here. Today I've got this very, very spacious four bedroomed and three storied Victorian terrace house for rent in Griffin Road in Plumstead. Griffin Road is a great little location, uh, about a quarter of a mile down the end of this road. To the left is Plumstead Mainline Station itself and the High Street. And if I go this way, zoom up to the top of the road, basically that is Plumstead Common itself. So you've got the common at the top of the road again, about a quarter of a mile walk. We've got the shops and buses on hand, and so the lovely open space on, on the common itself. Okay, so let's go inside and show you around. Because it's situated over three stories, you can obviously use the rooms um, in a multiple uses, as it were, because some people can use one room as a bedroom, or, and some people may use it as a reception room. Let's start off, so we're on the upper ground floor now. So you've got laminate wood flooring. The landlords have bought this house for me about 10 years ago and they've just basically moved out because they've just got um, some children, they needed a bigger garden. So basically they bought another house and they've decided to rent this house out. Okay, so let's go in the front reception. So this is what we would call the lounge. There's a few items of furniture which will be removed, so this bed and the bits and bobs will be removed, and the property will be let on an unfurnished basis. Has got some lovely character in the ceilings on the original corniceing and original ceiling rows as well, as you can see. That's the view from the front. So, nice, nice big room. The room behind it, we've classified that as a bedroom. Okay, so again, good size double room. All the rooms are double rooms. None of them are small rooms at all, so they are very spacious. Uh, I will mention in the video, because some people do inquire, this property does not have a HMO license, so it only can be let to a family of people. And then at the end, we have the family bathroom. So you've got a very large bathroom suite here. So you've got your, your wash basin here. You've got your shower enclosure. So it's a good size shower enclosure with an electric shower. Frosty double glazed window at the rear. Here you have your corner bath. And there is your toilet. In here is a storage cupboard. Okay, well, I think what I'll do, I'll take you upstairs first of all, show you the first floor, bedrooms, and then we'll go on the lower ground floor. So you've got a window over the back there, so again, giving you natural light on the landing. Storage cupboard here. This is the main bedroom. So this bed will be removed. The wardrobes and the chest of drawers, they'll, they'll happy be left if the tenants want those to be left. So this is say the biggest bedroom, so it's about 16 foot by 10 foot. So it's very large. Okay, and then we have the bedroom behind that. It's all been freshly decorated, so shouldn't need to do any work at all inside the house paint-wise. That's the view out the back. storage cupboard, bit of shelving, okay, right, so let's go back downstairs and show you the lower ground floor level, so these are the 
stairs that lead down. Okay, so uh, just to show you, you've got your gas meter there and your electric fuse board here. And there's a door here that leads to a little porch way and this door leads out to the lower ground floor front. So you have these steps that lead up to the ground floor pavement level. Just to explain, this cupboard here is going to be locked for the landlord's possessions. There's just going to be items of paint, ladders, etc., etc. That's just going to be for storage. Okay, and then we have the other bedroom here. Again, all these bags and bits and boat pieces will be removed. Land was just finishing off, taking the last bits and bobs out of the house. So again, two freestanding wardrobes, which will be left. Okay, so nice size room again. That's the good thing about this house. It is really, really spacious. There's no small rooms. And then we have the dining room. Okay, and this has got a door that leads out to the garden. So you've got a little side return here, and then you've got the garden at the back. Okay. And here we have a ground floor shower, which is very handy. So you have your shower enclosure here, electric shower. You have your wash basin there, and you have your toilet there. So that's a very handy room to have. And then we have the kitchen, so a good size kitchen. So you've got all appliances remaining. So there's going to be a final clean done, so it hasn't, it hasn't had its final clean yet. So there is a fridge freezer that's staying. You have a tumble dryer that's staying. You have a slimline dishwasher and you have your washing machine there. You also have an electric oven and an induction hob with an extractor hood right there. Stand back so you can see a little bit about this room here. Uh, him here is your cupboard which houses the boiler. Okay. And then we have some French doors that lead out to this breakfast room. So it's a really nice room. So effectively there's four bedrooms, three reception rooms, and two bathrooms. So yeah, great room this. And then you have French doors that lead out to the garden. So you've got a few steps from the back here down to the garden. The garden's 20 feet from the back of this wall here to the fence. Okay, so you've got a patio area. All this stuff, as I mentioned in previous rooms, all this clutter will be removed by the landlord. And so that's your side return there. You've got a water tap as well, so if you want to water your plants. You've got a flower border here. And that is the end of the tour. Um, if you'd like to arrange a viewing, please call Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents on 0208 319 7600. Many thanks for watching.